Hello and welcome back for part 5 of the series on creating games using Construct 2. In part 4 we talked about uh, basically an introduction to the event sheet and did some simple logic where we tracked to see if our platforms, um, if they got back down to the bottom of the screen we respawned them up to the top. And now in part 5 we're going to talk about adding score. So what's a game without score? It's kind of, uh, it's kind of useless. Um, so in part 4 we added a little incentive to our game uh, so that if our player got to the bottom of the page if his Y coordinate was greater than layout height we restarted the layout and that kind of simulates losing so in addition to losing we want to keep track of score uh, one of the most um, common aspects of a game and really gives a user an incentive to play and, and to keep playing to get a better and better score so there's a couple of different things involved in setting a score the first part is creating some kind of object to display the score. So let me double click in here to add an object just like we did with sprites. And instead of choosing sprite, I'm going to come over and choose a text object. I'm going to call this score text. And press insert. Now I've got my crosshairs and I can put this on here. And I get this little box I can resize. I'll make it a little bit bigger and put it up here in the top right and very small in there you can see that it has the word text so if I select that score text object I can come over to the text property and I can set it to something other than text so initially I'm gonna set it to score colon zero and I'm gonna come into the font and I'm gonna change the font size to uh, let's make it a little bigger so 30 let's try 36 there we go. Uh, we can leave it as black. You could change the color there. You could change whether or not it's visible initially. You can change the horizontal alignment. So I'm going to center it. I'm going to change the vertical alignment. So I'll center that too. So now the actual score is being displayed right in the middle of this text object. So again, this is the text object that's going to display the score. But now how do we keep up with um, and store the score? So let's go back over to the event sheet. And in the event sheet, we can add the events and actions that we've been talking about, but also we can add what's called global variables. So global variables can be used to store things like score or a timer or something like that. So to create a global variable, we need to right click somewhere in this empty space and then come down and add, add global variable. So once I do that, I get this pop-up box where it's asking for a name. So I'll say it's going to be named score. And we have two different types we can choose from, a number or a text. And this is going to be a score, so I'm just going to choose number. And its initial value is going to be zero. And then you can give it a description. So I'll say this is the score for my game. And now when I do that, my global variable pops up at the top of my page. So now, how do we uh, how do we add to that score? And when do we add to our score? So based on the kind of game we're going with so far, we're we're gonna probably want to earn more points the longer we survive. So it's kind of like Doodle Jump. You jump around and you try to get uh, basically as high or last as long as you possibly can, and you get points for the longer you last. So we, let's say that we want to increase our score every second, uh, or let's do every half second by five points. So every half second we survive, we earn five more points. So there's actually a very handy event for any time you want to do something every X number of seconds. And it's under system, and it's actually called every X seconds. So I'll select that one. And instead of every one second, I'm going to do 0 0.5. And then every 0.5 seconds, I want to add to my score. I want to add 5 to my score. So under add action, and then I'll go to system again. And then under global and local variables, there's the add to um, action. So I'll choose add to. And then you get to choose from all your different global variables. Right now we only have one, which is our score. And I'm going to add 5 there and so now with that event in action we're keeping track of the score 
right? We're incrementing it every half second, but we need to update the display over here because right now it just says score zero. We need to update that every time the score changes. So in the same event, we can just add another action. So we're gonna add to the score and then we're gonna set the text proper property of the score text object to the new score. So I can add action and then I can choose now my score text and then look for set text. And I want to, I want to display what's in my score variable so I can type score. And if I just did that, it would just show the number score. So it would show 5, 10, 15, 20. It wouldn't have the, the score colon before it. So to add a message before a variable, we want to put it in parentheses. So I can type score colon and then a space. And after that message inside of those parentheses, we can add, we can tack on what the value is in the variable by adding the ampersand sign. So this is saying I want to write out this text score colon space and then at the end of it I want to tack on the value of what's in our score variable. So if I click done let's come over here and run this layout again and where do I have it hidden there we go so now if you see in the top right my score is incrementing by five each time like we were hoping for and expecting I can try to last as long as I can and then I go to the bottom and if you notice my score is still is still starting at uh, where I left off right it flashes score zero once um, for a split second and then it goes to whatever my score was so what's happening is let's go back to the event sheet this global variable is global so it doesn't get reset whenever the doesn't get reset automatically whenever we lose whenever we restart a layout stuff like that so we want to manually go in and say when this game starts let's go ahead and reset our global variables all of them uh, but in this case there's just one the score let's reset them back to their default values so under on start of layout we already have that event we are ha already have an action let's just add one more and let's do a system and a reset global variables so again, that'll go in and change our score to zero each time. So if I run my layout again, let me pull it up. So my score is counting correctly. I'm at 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, 45, 50 now. So if I die, I'm now going from zero, five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. So that's what we want. We don't want the user to just keep incrementing the score regardless of where he starts, right? We want him to restart each time and try to get as high as possible. So that's it for part five. So stay tuned for part six.